have to go on sharing a bed, as he had said they would, like Europeans. What if there was a baby, and other times if she was unwell? He hadn't asked why she felt sick. Of course, it would not be right for him to ask. But it was three months now. Soon it would begin to show, and then they would be able to speak about it. But then you know that when you eat more than two slices of bread, or put more than three teaspoons of sugar in your tea, she will exclaim, exasperated. <laughs> Is the bread finished already? <laughs> oh, surely, gladness. That much sugar cannot be good for you. <laughs> and then when she realizes what she has said, and she doesn't want to hurt her liberal credentials, <laughs> she will say, Oh, but I don't mean anything by it, gladness. You can have as much as you want. <laughs> When she arrived at the front of the registration line, they asked her her name, age, and whether she was alone. She said, no, I am not alone, and decided to tell the lie that her heart wanted to tell. I am with my mother and my grandmother. The war, and all that time in the city, had been a complicated trial to achieve what Deco had always wanted. A family, however makeshift. I just wanted to escape from myself for a few hours. Is that so bad? Is it? Months of things. And I want money. When I got to Baba Sege's house, I was struck by how dirty everything was. The curtains were soiled. Even his wives, the aging goat and their shameless torch, were dirty. <laughs> but then Baba Sege showed me to my room. And the bed was big and soft. I had never felt anything like it before. I now know why you rich people you sleep so much more than us poor <laughs> I tell you, the next morning, I woke up like I had been suspended in mid-hair. Hey. Not even God that made me leave Babasagi's house after that day. <laughs> <laughs> are to get uh, the world reading, if we're to get Africa reading, if we get Nairobi reading, perhaps this is a way of getting people to be introduced to books. It's absolutely, absolutely enchanting. It's so great to finally see that, you know, people are, are understanding and applauding it and coming to watch um, staging dramatizations of novels because I think that's the only way that people really understand how sweet the African story is. I loved it. It was amazing. It was magical. It brought life. It was a great event. I tell everyone to come. Uh, great stories, great connection with the audience, the delivery. I mean, all of the storytellers were beautiful um, and really made me feel something. And and so I would say to everyone, if they want a good laugh, a good uh, heart felt story, um, and a nice spent evening, you should come. It's a fabulous way to discover African literature in a new way. It's not a theatre production, it's not your traditional play, it's just that storyteller and the audience. And every single time they create a new form of magic.